Uh, thanks for staying with us. If you're just tuning in, we're discussing rising above hurt. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at We Show Africa One with the hashtag We Show, or send us an SMS on zero eight one eight zero three eight four six six three. Okay, so before we continue the conversations, I have some um, comments or do I call them questions? Ranti says, I think communication is a key part. I mean, speaking to people even when you are not sure about what they will do True. with the information yeah and angela is saying taking ownership of for the role you played and forgiving yourself True. while holding on to hope yeah. i think that's very important and john says protect your peace top top priority yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> you know but, but we were saying this um before we went on the break when when, when fumi was talking I, i'm wondering um so there is a part of forgiveness yeah there's a part of so i am a very deep person in terms of reflections so something can happen in 2000 i will be re, i'll still be reflecting 2020 mm. 20 years after i'll sit down to try to analyze why do you understand why did this happen and all of that so some people say that i'm too emotional move on you know don't talk about this again but i'm wondering is it is it is it not part of the healing process you know for somebody like me you know to be able to rise above it you know i, I so i might reflect on it but i'm not feeling the same pain like i felt that's why i said i have to record yeah. the crying because I, I i might not feel the pain again but i remember all the time yeah. constantly you know well, i think it's different for everyone because yeah. everybody's process i tell people i am a drama queen yes <laughs> yes yes but when it comes to these types of things i have zero drama literally i am a what happened process it what did i learn move on mm. it's in a compartment uh, i think i am that, compartmentalizing I think the like there's no tomorrow yeah. i put when it in a drawer school. i shut the drawer and i move on but i have friends who i don't know why sometimes everybody just we talks to friends. me and they call me <laughs> And they tell me, and we talk about it today. Tomorrow, they call they'll you. call you. We'll talk about <laughs> it. In six you months. Know, you know what, Uti? I, I, Uti, I think that the, there's an unfinished business there. Mm. Mm. There's unfinished business, really. Because even when they're talking about it, they're leaving the, they're going through the motions and they're yeah. leaving it. And I think the first thing to do, as you know, we have rightly said, people have said, is identify the pain and deal with it. Okay, so in now, dealing with the pain, do you think you should go back and talk to these people? Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> see, sometimes. <laughs> no. No, you know what? Sometimes some people need closure. Like I told you, um, what happened to me? Is I never talked to the person. I just, I, I, it was a very bad trade. Thank you for Mr. Thank God for Mr. Ojo. I am someone that I move like you're dead to me. When I mean you are dead to me, you are dead to me. I'm, that's how I shut you out completely. So there's a part of my brain that you don't exist. You're not alive. Hmm. And well, that's that how, not, is that not that's actually exhausting? That's, yeah. That, that's, so that's why I'm telling you that it, you cease to exist for me. Like when I work out on you, I have worked out. And whatever it is, I would damn the consequences as long as it does, doesn't take my life. You're wow. not existing. And that is a very big thing to keep up with because I have to keep it up till the part I forget. And mm. so it's a lot. And sometimes you need to go back to revisit it and deal with it. And if you need to speak to someone about it, ask for it took a while. This I'm telling you, over 10 years before I had to ask for forgiveness. Wow. wow. Yes, it's it's that bad. And the thing is, what has it been doing to me all these years? Is that because I've been feeling that yeah. I am tough, I nothing. I really actually didn't learn. And until I learned from that. I really didn't move above a certain uh, emotional growth and spiritual growth because I had just held it. And for me, that's something very critical. For someone like me, the spiritual is very important uh -huh. because it helps you address it. And when you see that, no matter everything that you have done, there's one person that's sitting down and forgiving you all the, the time. time. Yeah. Then who are you not to forgive? For each person is different though. Uh -huh. I, mean, I, I didn't need to talk to my ex, but maybe because I'd already done my own he healing. So in fact, I can remember when all the drama was happening, like, you know, the SARS thing and, you know, look me up. I was very calm. So, in fact, someone was asking me that, ah, madam, I was like, maybe, I, I was feeling like I was in a surreal moment. Also because I'd also started finding healing before that whole thing happened. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't know how to start, you know, going on and on and about it. And then I didn't, I never even had to, you know, talk to him to say, you know, 
anything. But so for some people, I find that they have to go back to those people. It might not even be marriage, it may even be a friend. Because yeah, like yeah, I was even going to say that. Let's come like to friend friendship. Mine, yes, um, after you know the divorce, when she I don't, I don't even done the divorce or separation. Oh, she heard about it. She didn't even call me. She sent some random school me that I hadn't spoken to in ten years to said to call me and said, oh, for me, I'm disappointed in you. I heard you have left your husband and all. I like like I I cut her off. I I will see her in functions, and then she will be the one going around telling people. I didn't say anything to her that oh, Fumi is not talking to me. Fumi is acting strange and everything. I didn't need to talk to her. I think until just recently, maybe even this year, we, we lost a friend of ours and all of that. And then she was saying, oh, I didn't tell her about the wiki, but I'm like you don't know the family of the person. But later, I just said Fumi, you know, and I just said to her that you really, really, um, you know, you really, really hurt me. So um. Let me just, I didn't even tell her all the details, but you know, I've moved on, I've moved mm -hmm. on. But it's not necessarily you go back because sometimes once the person sees, the person that hurts you and they see that you need, you feel like you need to come to them for closure, they may yeah. hold on to that and never even say, oh. okay, so yeah. <laughs> um, let me come to um, Uti. Um, why do you think it's, it's important for us to rise, rise above pain? Why do you um, think so? For yourself. Okay. Most okay. importantly for yourself, because you can. St it feels good to stew. Don't get me wrong. You know when you <laughs> feel like this person. I deserve did something to I me. I deserve to be angry. I, des I deserve to be angry. <laughs> it it feels angry. great. Like you, you can sit on your high horse and say, you know what, this person did this to me, did that to me. But the point is, that person is where they are, mm. and they have no clue what this person what you are going through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you are seething you are living in this anger you are giving room for your body to feel that abnormality that mm -hmm. translates into your cells doing the wrong thing and mm -hmm. their cancer can come in mm -hmm. but the fact is all you're doing is killing yourself giving yourself more headache the other person is wherever they are drinking wine living their life have no clue what you're going through yeah so it's so important some people like Fumi said you can deal with it yourself if you're lucky to be that kind of person, it's fantastic. Deal with it and move on. But some people can't. Some people, and it, it, different types of hurt for different people. I know we've, we've talked predominantly about relationships, but I think about some experiences I've had at work. Exactly. And I, at work, I don't take things personally. So when I find myself in situations where people take things personally, I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> and so how do you deal with, in a work environment where you are... You're an emotional person. How do you now handle, let, let you me, know, let not me getting... To, yeah. Let me come to that so she can testify. I am so passionate about my job. I am so passionate about what I do. And most of the time, it becomes very personal. I used to be very personal about things, especially if I'm on a project. I need for that project to succeed. And I had taken that, not, not remembering that this is a job and these are roles and these are functions, okay, are taking that my personality into the job so most of the time i'm seen as being aggressive as the aggressor as the ones that, that causes the and meanwhile it's my passion that drives me so i had to as my madame said <laughs> know that this is a job mm. it is nothing personal mm. now when i identified that it was a job i now identified the behavior in me that made people see me as an aggressor because I was so dominant in wanting to get the project done, I, I forget about how other people too might be feeling. So what I've done now and, and how I have grown is, listen, it's not about me. Nobody has come out, leave their homes to come and hurt me and make sure that I do not succeed. Okay, what is the problem about the project? So by the time you start seeing that this is a job and people have different interests and then you, you know, attack, um, address it as a job and their interests, it becomes better. And even if you don't agree with me, tomorrow I will say hello to you because it is a job. Okay, so let me come to women. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> because they say women don't work well together. They say that it's very easy for a group of women, you know, to come to a place and all of a sudden and all of that. Do you think, you know, those kind of narratives are empowering for us? You know, how do we stop being emotional with our, you know, with ourselves and, you know, try as much as possible. Because the other day I was telling Sanzi, I told Sanzi, I said, Sanzi, you have to get to that point. I have gotten to the point where, because they've hurt me so much, I've gotten to the point where now what I do is, you know, I do not take anything personal. If I talk to you on Facebook, I leave it there, you know, and I don't, 
because I, I've seen that I need to protect myself. I'm not those kind of people that come into your life and I stop at 20%. I go all the way to 100% with you as a person. You know, so if I know that this is who I am, how do I protect myself? So the best way for me to protect myself is to be less emotional <laughs> about it. But do you think this women thing, because you guys have a fantastic relationship. You know that we are envious of, by the way. <laughs> that I'm very jealous about. You know, but so I know how? You, I don't yeah, you, yeah. So how? <laughs> how do how do we as women, you know, quickly let go? Because um, there's so much out there that we can. That there's so much out there that we can become. You know, if we just free our minds of all the pain and all of that. Please allow me to jump on this one. <laughs> First and foremost, I've just been privileged to work with most of my bosses have been women and it's only one bad egg. All the others have been good to me. I've also had friends that I've met at work and one thing I can identify is that we respect our differences. Hmm. We do not see eye so to eye. It starts with respecting it. It starts with respecting. We're not Ashwabi friends. Like, because, oh, you bought Ashwabi, I did not buy. Yeah, not we bought the same slipper. You went to, to the market. I respect your difference. If I don't go and visit, when was the last time I visited you? I sat in your house. <laughs> it doesn't, because I know that Uti cares for me beyond coming to. Mm -hmm. To, to, to my house. So you're not those kind of, how do I call it? Is it eye service or mediocre? No, 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 no. So, so we know, see, with each of my friends, mm. I respect them. They're, they're my, there's one I'm suspecting is going through something. I'm not talking to her now because I feel that she's not ready. Mm. When she's ready, she, she will talk. You. Just because she's not sharing that pain mm. does not mean that I am not her friend or she does not recognize me. Sometimes people need to deal with their issues first and you don't interfere. So I think for us, we have identified when we should come in and talk to each other. And we, I think the greatest thing that has kept me with my friends is the respect that we have for each other and that boundaries of knowing that I care for you, I am here for you. Whenever you are ready, you know I'm where you here. would find me. Well, so let's ask for me, how have you been able to manage us? <laughs> Oh first yes. Of all, first of all, I think that thing is a lie, though. Mm. I feel like pe people, not just men, people trade around say women don't work with each other because men kill men for contract, all this political assassination True. and different things. So men do all sorts of things as well. So I, d I don't like to put that label and say women don't work um, well with each other. With with every human being, you have your differences, like um, Ik was saying. Mm. Your difference just to, for you to just identify that okay, this person is like this. And I also think it takes a level of maturity, though, to be able to just rise above. Um, when you see something, you acknowledge your own mistake and yeah. then I say that, okay, maybe I should have done this differently and then just give room because I think sometimes what always happens makes relationship hard is when you try to control the other person, when you feel like this person should react in a certain way. And even if I spoke like this, and this person should not have reacted like this. Or even if I didn't talk, and this person should, you can't control the other person. So I think you just leave it as it is. But I don't really totally believe that women not working together, women. Um, yeah. So I think, but the, I, so again, no smoke without fire. I think there is a, some, there's a reality to it to be honest. Um, I hate to say it because it's atypical for me, but as women, we can be largely emotional. And we, we carry a lot. We take a lot to heart. And how that can come across woman to woman, to a man, for instance, might seem like, what's the big deal? Because men, will and this is where I say at work, we quarrel, we fight, end of the day, we go take, you know, we have a drink, <laughs> and it's all good. But with women, because we take things to heart, because we have you know, that depth of feeling, yeah. it's not as easy as done a couple of drinks and we're fine. Mm -mm. So women to tend it. to, exactly. So, and it depends on what type of woman you are. Some women are like, hey, they're shouting and it's all, and then some women are internalizing. So it, that level of self-awareness is key to say, look, mm -hmm. how do I want to handle this? How do I want to deal with this? Because I really hate assumptions. I really do not deal well with assumptions. I like to ask questions plenty so that I don't have the wrong impression of any situation, any interaction. Mm -hmm. Now, not everybody will do that. And women, most times, we're very intuitive. So again, yeah. that intuition sometimes gets in the way. Yes. Someone says something to you, you think, I picked up on this, I picked up on that, then you don't ask, you're not clear, yeah. and all of a sudden, it can completely go awry. So I don't think that it's unreal, because I'm sure if you ask 10 women, they'll be able to tell you eight experiences, or eight of them will be able to share their experiences yeah. for you that they've had yeah. with other women. But I think them. that that narrative keeps being found. Mm. you know by this popular mm. you know notion and it keeps on going but women generally it's possible i mean this show yes. we're a testament so, it's well, possible I, 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 so maybe in in conclusion <laughs> you know 
um, I was I was working in a place that you know I truly loved you know because for me I don't go half measure. I truly loved my my team. I loved my boss. You know I call her all the time and all of that. But um, I had to step out of the place and you know it was it was very painful for me. It was very painful for me because you know I thought you know I meant something. You know because when you give. You, you give 100%, not expecting anything in return. And that's why, for me, the hurt was a lot, you know, with her in particular. You know, but, you know, I thank God because from the quotes that we read today, I mean, I would not have met all the wonderful ladies of ways. Especially <laughs> I would, me. I would, not, I would not be here. Yes, yeah, especially you. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, so when, when we truly give ourselves the freedom to forgive. And I remember, okay, so mine was actually spiritual when I went for experience. I went for experience and that year, I mean, I don't know, first of all, somebody gave me a VVIP ticket, you know, so I was in front and the cameraman loved me. Somebody actually asked me, that, did, I beg, <laughs> did, I, just, did I bribe the cameraman because I was there and that year was a very challenging year for me. So I, you know, when you cry your heart out, because I love to sing, I love worship, you know, so I, I sang and I, you know, I sang and I prayed and I did all sorts and all of that. So after that experience, something now happened to her. And the Holy Spirit told me, Auntie, send the message. So I didn't know all of those things, but I think God was helping me to let go, you know, of the pain. So by the time I fully um, cleared my heart, that was when I got clarity for ways. Yeah, wow. mm. That was when I had, I, had, I had the concept, I had everything, but it was still blocked. I didn't understand, okay, what direction were we going to go mm -hmm. to and all of that. It was so blocked. I couldn't think straight. But by the time I let go, I, you know, gradually I was letting go, letting go. One day like that, the clarity just came. I just picked up my laptop. I started typing. I started typing. Boom, boom, boom. We're here. Wow. And we're almost one year. And mm -hmm. I have met amazing women. And I, and I must say, you know, if I, if I don't say this um, often, every single woman on the team, including our producer, every single one of us, we come with a uniqueness. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I love what you said about embracing our differences. Because yes, quarrels are meant to come. I don't yeah. believe that. So if we fight, I believe that the fight is supposed to make us, our relationship stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Not for me really. to see you tomorrow and be kind. You know what? I, I believe that that has worked for us. Yes. Yeah. Our last after our last fight. And I, after our last discussion, <laughs> don't mind that. Fight. After our last discussion and disagreement, I think that we have been stronger. Yes. I, I, I told Nafi that I think that that discussion needed... It broke a lot of things. Around. So maybe when that person was sending a message about communication, you know... Yeah. yeah. Communication is key. Whether it's key. With, amongst yourself, so whether it's within, within yourself, yourself to, yes. it's important to Very break key. things yeah. down. When you're talking about experience, I got chills because experience Aww. saved my life. Experience Aww. 2015 yeah. saved my life. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, it, you, you're absolutely spot on. When we think about, and I know that we're probably running out of time, if we're going to deal with hurt and we're going to rise above it, it is very, very critical. Foundationally, mm -hmm. you must want to rise above it. Absolutely. Exactly. If you do not want to rise above it, I say it feels good to stew. It feels good to sit and sit I'm on your high horse, you. but you're not doing yourself any favors. So Absolutely. if you are going to rise above hurt, you must first want to. Then you must ask yourself the right questions. How did I get to this point? What happened? What can I do differently? And what did I learn? Those learnings are critical. Very critical. Yeah. Very critical. Yes. I learned a lot. Mm. If you I don't take those learnings, yeah. you just won't. Yeah, okay, final words. Final words. I would say do it for yourself, as Uti has yeah. said. If you, sometimes the person would not even acknowledge whether or not you were forgiving it. It's not their business. Mm. So think of yourself first mm. and let go. Mm. And if you are a spiritual person, I would mm. say hold on to your God. It makes it easier. Believe True. me, mm -hmm. it makes it easier, easier. because Absolutely. you know you're doing it for the right purpose. All right, for me. So final words. There's life beyond hurt. Mm. There's, mm. So there's Absolutely. clarity. True. There's peace. There's good health beyond hurt. So, Absolutely. You know, don't steer in it. Better days. Just I love what Fumi has said. I think I will, I will re-echo re it. There's life beyond hurt. Mm. Yes. So you must understand that, and you know, have the freedom you know, to fly after you have let go. Now, please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's been a very, very engaging conversation, very deep. We read some things, but we are all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at Waysha Africa One or at Plus TV Africa as we continue to hear what you're saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Sometimes 
things that hurt you the most teach mm. you the greatest lessons in life. And that's very important. You must learn something from every hurt. Now, we'll see you live on Friday as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Thank you again, ladies. Enjoy your evening. Bye. <laughs> Bye.